Hello children, today we shall learn how to do four digit addition. Let's say Mohan is saving money to buy a good furniture. Say he had 2150 rupees already and this month he saved another 1150 rupees. So how much money he has now to buy his furniture? Let's try to find out. So we write 2150 like 0 at 1's place, 5 at 10's place, 1 at 100's place and 2 at the 1000's place. And then we add 1150 to it. We ensure that we write the digits of both the number at the correct place. That is their ones position at the ones position place. Same thing for the tens position, hundred position as well as a thousand position. One below another. And now we need to add the two because we want to find out how much total money he has now. He had 2150 previously and this month he saved 1150. So how do we do it? It's very simple. It may look very big number but all you need to do is you need to do single digit addition starting from ones place. So first add the single digits at the ones place then at the tens place then at the hundredth place then at the thousands place that is we start from ones place and go towards the thousand place that is we are going from right to left so how do we do it let's look at it 0 plus 0 is 0 5 plus 5 is 10 which is greater than single digit so one moves to hundredth place that is to its neighbor as we saw in the earlier lesson for three digit addition so one moves to the hundredth position from here 5 plus 5 was 10 one move to hundredth position now we do addition between 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 and then we add the thousands place 2 plus 1 is 3 so Mohan has saved 3300 rupees in total now wow a lot of money so how do we do the addition of such a large number again we started from one's position add the two zeros became zero then move to the tens position 5 plus 5 is 10 one move to the carry over to the next neighbor not to the right neighbor to the left neighbor to the hundred position in this case and then we added one plus one plus one three this one this one this one one plus one plus one three and then we added the thousand position so remember we are doing this big number addition but if you look at it we are only doing addition between two single digits at a time at a starting from the place value 0 and then going till 210 then 100 and then 1000 so Mohan has saved 3300 rupees let's take another example let's say there are 9360 people who lived in a town and during festival time 560 people visited that town to celebrate the festival with their friends and families like we all do right so how many people are total there in the town during the festival time let's find out there were 9360 people so we write down correctly 9000 so 9 at this place 300 so at the hundred place 60 so six tenths and a zero and how many people came in we write 560 people who came in during the festival at the right place 
remember it's 560 so we don't write this 5 at the thousands place we leave it empty because there are 560 people came in so we write this 5 at the hundredth place value that is at this place very important you should not write this 5 starting from left to right just write the 5 you should know what is the number you are adding so 560 to so 560 so we write that and we then try to do the addition just like the last time starting from ones position how do we do it we start from this position then go to the tens position at the two number then we go to hundred position at the two numbers and then we go to the thousands position but remember in thousands position case there is no number here which really means zero here right because there were only 560 people who came in not there was no thousand there so we leave it blank blank means zero zero thousands correct and so how do we calculate it very simple as we saw starting from one's position 0 plus 0 is 0 6 plus 6 is 12 what happened to the 1 to 12 1 it goes to its neighbor which is 100th position like this then we go to the 100th position we add the thing 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 then we move to thousands position remember 9 plus 0 blank means zero thousands here right so nine plus zero is nine so during the festival time nine thousand nine hundred and twenty people were there in that town so don't get afraid if the numbers are big or even possibly there are multiple digits which we need to add like in this case there are three numbers which you need to add maybe you had nine thousand three hundred and sixty people initially and then 1125 people came in during festival time and at the last minute 560 people more came in on the last day of the festival so how many people are there don't get worried that is such a big number and three such numbers maths is very easy once you know how to do it you again write each of this number in the correct place value that is ensure thousands are below thousand hundreds are below hundred tens are below tens and ones are below ones so you write like this and if there are no thousand you write space here okay and then just do the addition starting from ones position that is you start the addition from rightmost digit going towards this way it is starting from ones position let's add all the three things 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 0 is 5 so we write 5 here then we move to tens position so 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 6 is 14 what happened 14 is greater than 9 right we can only write one digit here so what happens to the one here it moves to its neighbor on the left side here it is it moves to the hundred position then what do we do 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 5 10 so it became 10 again what happens to the one it moved to its neighbor on the left that is we were at the hundred place so this one moved to thousands place so what do we do here it moves so you directly write here I'm showing you in animated fashion but you can write directly there now we move to thousand position so 1 plus 9 10 10 plus 1 11 and because there is no 10,000 place so we write 11 and so this is our final answer there were 11,045 people in that town during the festival time so maths is very easy children never get scared of number just think what are the steps you write it down and then only thing you need to do is single digit addition isn't it easy children so this is all for now children have fun bye bye